Don't know how to start this review, but hey, we're looking at the same brewery, just a different style. Kind of a beer. Yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Let's just do this, guys. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Ray Peruski, from the Ruski Bruski Review. And today the beer that I have for you guys is, again, by the Sada City Brewing Company. We have their Tropical Storm Mojito, or Mojito, however you pronounce it, IPA. Boom. A mojito-based IPA. Well, not based, but a mojito-inspired IPA. Pretty excited about this. 6.9% alcohols by volume. 42 I B U's. What shall we do? Let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Very minty looking colors and shit. Uh, minties, uh, mint mints on the side of the can here. Let's pour it up. Side of City Pint glass. It's not an IPA glass, I know. Please don't sue me. But hey, it's the only Side of City glass that I have. That's about half of the beer there. And as we look at it, kind of similar to the binary and most other hazy IPAs, uh, super hazy, crazy beer, uh, white in color with a off-white head on top. White in color, it's not white in color, it's a nice and beautiful pale to hay to golden yellowish. Not golden, but yeah, you know, it's yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow. Let's dive in. Mint is coming through quite nicely. But yet somehow reminds me a little bit of like pesto, uh, pasta sauce. Yeah, minty, pesto-y for some reason. Yeah, mint, pesto. Don't know why pesto's in there, but it does smell like it. Mint, pesto, vibrant, refreshing. A little bit of cucumber in there. No pine, no grapefruit. Yeah, mint, pesto, cucumber, more cucumber mint, but somehow reminds me of pesto, but hey, we're going with that. Let's taste it. Well, okay, yeah, wow, oh, wow, ooh. Okay, um... I'm trying to think if I've ever had a mojito. I've never had one myself, but I've tried mojitos before uh, from ex-girlfriends, other friends, yada yada. They, they, they get them at bars and I'm just like, yeah, yeah I want to try it. Um, and it does remind me exactly like a mojito is. Minty, beautifully refreshing, little bits of cucumber in there, I want to say as well. No real pine, no real grapefruit. Uh, no, not really. Yeah, a little grassy. As well, a little bit of like uh, lemon or lemony grassiness coming out of there as well. Yeah, oh, not, maybe not lemon, more like a touch of lime per se. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff indeed. Let's dive in a little bit deeper, guys. So let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah, quite reminiscent of a uh, of a mojito. Got that mint on there is absolutely phenomenal. It doesn't taste artificial, just tastes very well and natural. That is pretty cool. Didn't really know what to expect about this guy, but a Tropical Storm Mojito IPA is really gonna be that Mojito-esque. And funny enough, it is. So if you like mojitos, I think you're gonna, I think you're really gonna dig this beer. This is also a beer I wanna have my dad try. Because apparently there was a story, uh, this was before I was born. I think him and my mom were on a cruise and he ordered a mojito. I think he, he knew what it was but didn't know what it tasted like. But he likes mint so he's like, let's do this. And I, from what I remember of the story is that he did not like the mojito. And he's not a big drinker by any means. He doesn't drink regularly, doesn't drink uh, much at all really. Um... So I don't think he likes mojitos, so I kind of want him to have, have a little taste of this, but hey, you know what? 
I've never been a big mojito drinker either. I've had a few sips here and there, but pretty interesting. And not bad. Like I said, the mint on here is absolutely spot on. A little bit of, uh, like, like, like a, uh, a lemon lime mix in there as well. Hints of cucumber just in the back end. Probably no cucumber, cucumber really in here. Probably just my brain playing tricks on me, but has that refreshingness of a cucumber in the end. And when you think mint and cute, like mint cucumber water, I don't know why, but that seems like a good, delicious thing. And it's delivering quite, quite well. See what the can has to say. So we have Sawdust City Brewing Company, Tropical Storm, Mojito, Majito IPA. Like I said, 6.9% ABV, 42 IBUs. Description reads, based on one of our favorite summer, uh, summary libations, Tropical Storm Mojito is the first in a series of delicious IPAs. Tart, citrusy lime leads, leads the way. Got it there. With the cool waves of mint bringing in the summer vibes. Juicy hops throughout the middle and soft creamy palate. Uh, uh, through the middle and soft creamy palate through to the finish. This IPA has it all. Get ready, because who knows what the storm will blow in next. That is from Sam Corbeil, or Sam Corbell, again, sorry for mispronouncing your last name, the Brewmaster. Drink fresh, keep cold, contains barley and oats. Over here we also have some extra information, style is a Mojito IPA, IBUs of 42, original gravity of 17.5 degrees Play-Doh, and final gravity of 5 degrees Play-Doh, 4 on the SRM, or color scale. So a little bit lighter than the binary we did uh, the other day. Fairly similar. Hops that were used are Mosaic, Idaho 7, and Cashmere. Brewed and packaged at Sada City Brewing Co. in Gravenhurst, Ontario. And on the bottom, packaged on March 17th, 2021. Being April 3rd, uh, as of recording, I think when I posted the, well, when I shot the binary was April 2nd, so differences because now it's the, you know, it's about like 20 minutes later. But pretty cool stuff indeed. I actually really like this. As far as IPAs go, pretty interesting because it is a lot different. It's not your typical IPA. Mm -hmm. One thing this beer does remind me of, uh, not not directly because they've made the same, but uh, oh, who was side launch? If, side launch, if I'm not mistaken, how they've done a few beers that are. Uh, you know, have influences from cocktails, uh, sort of along those lines. It's, it's an IPA, yes, but it's based or, 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 or you know, uh, inspired by a, a traditional cocktail. So I kind of like these cocktail-inspired beer recipes. It's really cool because, again, Side Launch has done an amazing job. And the, the Mule, um, I think they might have, no, they had a margarita sour or a margarita goza, if I'm not mistaken. Now we got sawdust with the mojito. Ooh, what's next? Who's going to do the strawberry daiquiri or the pina colada? That would be really cool. I'm trying to think of others. Uh, gin base might be a little wonky. Probably Collective Arts or Muskoka would do that because they make gin. Gin base cocktails, uh... I don't know, there's a lot of cocktails that I'm not too vast in because I don't really order cocktails, funny enough, but pretty cool. I like when the, when the craft breweries dive into some of these, uh, you know, very cocktail-inspired beers. It's always a fun time. But moving over to the website, sodacitybrewing.com, you go to the beer section, you will find Tropical Storm Majito IPA. And on here, you have pretty much the same exact description as on the can. I'm not going to read that. But ingredients, ooh, they do a detailed list here. Water is pure Muskoka water. Barley slash malt is two row. Oats malt, oat flakes, carafoam, and dextrose. Dextrose uh, is, is not a malt. I want to say it's just straight up, uh, you know, sugars. Hops are mosaic, Idaho 7 and cashmere. The yeast... That was used is the Escarpment Labs a fun, uh, Foggy London Ale Yeast. And other ingredients are Lactobacillus, kind of cool, Lime Zest, and Mint. For the nerd numbers, again, 
those are listed on the can. 17.5 degrees Play-Doh OG, uh, 42 IBUs, uh, 4 uh, SRM, and 5 degrees Play-Doh uh, for FG. Storing temperatures uh, 3 to 5 degrees Celsius, serving temp 3 to 6 degrees Celsius, not sellable, and glassware is your IPA glass. As for availability, it's at the brewery, it's at the online store, and at your local LCBO. Solid looking website, we got prices for can for singles, four packs, and two fours. We'll get to that in just a hot minute. But moving over to Untapped. Over on Untapped, Tropical Storm Mojito IPA is listed as a sour IPA, funny enough. And I wouldn't call it a sour IPA, to be honest. I would call it a cocktail-inspired IPA. Um, bah, 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 bah. It's got a 3.54 bottle caps out of 5. A little low, funny enough. That's out of 319 ratings. Obviously, it's not super IPA-ish. You know, as far as IPAs go. But if you look, or even like a sour IPA. Sour IPAs are one of those styles that are just like, it, it's, it shouldn't be a thing, but it's a thing. And it doesn't even fall under that court category for me. For me, it's just, it, it's a cocktail inspired beer. And I want that to be a category all on its own. Because like we've seen from uh, uh, Side Launch and now Sada City, cocktail inspired beers, if done correctly, which the ones that I have had are, they're pretty fantastic and really just bring a new dimension to the craft beer industry and beer in general. It's just something that is, that you really didn't think should be a thing. But when you have, you're just like, well, you know what? As weird as it is, it works out surprisingly really, really well. So pretty cool, 3.54. I'm gonna guess that people that don't really expect, you know, what's coming their way. And I really didn't either, but I like the outcome. And as for the price of this cocktail inspired beer, it's $4.50 for the 473 ml can. Yes, it's over $5, no, whoa, over $5, I would be shitting bricks. It's over $4, right in that middle mark there. Um, don't really have anything to back that up. It's expensive, yeah, it's expensive. It is 6.9% though. And it is a little bit more, I would say, of a, an experimental uh, sub sub style of beer. So I'm down with it. It is very close to a novelty beer per se, but it's just good enough that really not just good enough, but it's good enough and it works where it doesn't really feel just like a uh, but like, like a traditional novelty. But yeah, four fifty. I'm. I'm not too pumped about that price for the kind of beer that it is, but I get it. As for on the Sada City web, uh, website, if you order online, uh, it's $3.98 for a tall boy can before tax. They don't put that into the price that they throw up on the website, so probably again about $4.20 for a single, for a four pack starting at $15.49 pre tax, and a two four at $90.27 pre tax. Overall, I am not disappointed one bit about this beer. Not at all. It's luscious, it's minty, it's refreshing, it's got a little bit of lime, uh, uh, liminess to it, got a little bit of like a cucumber, uh, very, very whisper, or just my head priming me. Um, uh, a note to it, very refreshing. If you don't like mojitos or mint, stay away from this beer. But if you kind of want to dive into something cool, something different, and you really love mojitos, give this a goddamn try because you won't be disappointed. It is very, very, extremely true to style when it comes to mojitos, for sure. But if you're thinking this is going to be a tropical -y IPA with a little bit of mint, you might be a little caught off guard. This is definitely mojito, uh, mojito beer. So it's, it's kind of cool. It's really, wow, I don't know. It's, it's a novelty beer, but at the same time, it's done 
so accurately, in my opinion, to a mojito that it's just like, okay, Sadasi, I see what you're doing. I see you're having some fun with it. But you're also knocking it out of the park. So it's it's just all fun. So with that said, guys, choose the final step. Let's get ready to arrange and wrap this thing up. Sada City, Tropical Storm Mojito IPA. Again, a novelty style beer, a cocktail inspired beer. That is pretty friggin' good. Pretty friggin' good. Very mojito-esque. Very mojito-esque indeed. And I'm, a, I'm pretty happy it's a thing. I'm pretty happy it's a thing. And that's 6.9%. You can't go wrong because it's still going to give you a nice solid buzz. If you can't tell, um, apparently that binary system is catching up to me. Uh, I did have a couple beers before that one, but hey, I'm having a good time. It's a long weekend as of recording, so why not have a little fun? Still get out video, so wow. Yeah, but back to the beer. Tropical Storm, Mojito IPA, minty, citrusy, uh, cucumbery, fantastic. Hits, you know, it, you, it, you're, it's telling you what it is. It's Mojito IPA, and you are good to go if you know what's up. You read the label, you think one thing, but you just read it and you take it as it is. It's a Mojito IPA. And you're happy, and you get a little buzz on, you feel, you're feeling a little, you know, a little tipsy. It's it's a good it's a really good time. Solid stuff. Solid ooh ooh ooh. Shit, solid 8.9 out of 10 for me just because of how accurate it is. As for presentation, solid looking candles and a lot different than what uh, Sada City has done in the in, uh, previously. They've had a little bit of a rebranding over the I don't know course of what a year or so I want to say. We did a little assignment on that back in class. And we, we focused on uh, Sada City's rebranding, and I, I, I had some, I had an opinion on it, where it's Sada City's outlook on can designs and labels have become a lot more, a little bit more bright, colorful, a lot more friendly and pleasing to the eye, compared to what they had when I first was introduced to them, where they were black cans, rustic, a little more hardened of a look to them. I kind of like this design language that they're going with, but at the same time, I'm Sada City's still going to be that black can with that, you know, little, little rough around the edges design. So just a little tidbit there, kind of rambling now when I don't want to ramble. Presentation though, it's got a ton of information. ABV, IBUs, SRM, OG, FG, descriptions, cans on dates and all that fun shit. Website looking fantastic too, too as well given a detailed list of ingredients of water, barley, hops, yeast, and others. Pretty good stuff. Solid 9 out of 10 for me. The only reason why I gave Binary the other day, like I said, I gave that a 9.5. It's only getting a 9 because Binary had that little bit of ooh, Easter egg on the can. Overall though, fantastic stuff. And before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Brewski, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Brewski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. So pour up your beers and pour up your cocktails if we're having fun on a long weekend. So pour it up. Don't give a fuck and get drunk. Cheers.